Hey Aries, welcome to your June 2024 messages for the month ahead. Everything you need to hear, see, feel, and know to get happy. Take that next action step in life and enjoy the journey towards your destination. Um, don't forget, I always go live for free every Tuesday, 11 a.m. Eastern Time in my Facebook group and business page. The links for that are down below in the description. And I am available for private reads. Um, that's where I'm going to channel spirit guides for you, a typical reading. And the link for that is in the description below as well. Without further ado, Aries, it looks like for the basis of your month, the kind of like spiritual soul level lesson you're going through right now is that, oh, interesting. It's, this is a good read. <laughs> it's, it's about stretching your stretching your wings to like fly on your own and it's like like all the pieces are there all the confidence is there it's time for you to like take that step take that leap the best analogy i can give you is like you know sometimes um birds parents have to like nudge their little baby out of the nest because it might be afraid like well i've never flown oh i'm not going to do it and the parents just kind of nudge them out and they're like oh well i'm ah scary but i'm flying so it is kind of like time to take that step what, whatever it is you're launching, whatever it is you're doing, maybe you're getting married, maybe you're starting a business, maybe you're going to ask for promotion, maybe you're going to close your biggest sale, whatever it is. Um, what's crossing it is the emperor. So the emperor is indicating that you want a little bit more control over this than you're ever going to have. Like think of the analogy I gave guys. Are you ever going to con have control over how the wind feels when you're knocked out of a nest? Are you ever going to have control over how sunny it is the day that you leap out of the nest? Are you ever going to have control over if there's other birds flying or not? There's only so much you could do to be prepared. And at some point, you have to be willing to try the new thing. And that can be incredibly scary and vulnerable because you've never done it before. So you are insecure because you don't know what it will feel like, what it will look like, and what could go wrong. Like you don't know what you don't know type of a thing. Um, so just recognize that you're kind of at a point where you've researched it as best as you can. You, you've done all that you could do to prepare for it. And there's just some things that you're never going to know you need to prepare for until you take the step. So this is where it's more about a belief in my ability to adapt your belief in yourself to be resilient, your belief in yourself to learn new things, your belief in yourself to figure it out. Good affirmations when you're at this stage are, I'm figuring it out, I'm doing the things and I can adapt, I can adjust, I can acclimate, I can discover new things. If there's an obstacle that comes up, the universe will deliver the right book, the right video, the right course, the right spiritual reader, the right mentor to help me move past it. I know I'll get there um, and all that's coming up Hold on, the spirit guys want to talk to you guys. What we're picking up in your energy is that there's been a force of a manifestation in the past. I will get there at all costs. And you just like treaded through water to get there. We're going to give an analogy too. It's like being in a swamp and just pushing yourself, walking through it, plowing through it. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Where... So of course you're going to be physically exhausted, where if you kind of took a breath, looked around and went, oh, if I walk five feet over, there's a stretch of dry dirt that I could walk to get out of here. So it's in the past you realized, had I done a little bit more planning, this could have gone more smoothly. You can't let your past impact your current manifestation, though, because you're ignoring the impulses from your own inner being and us and the nudges we're giving to you to take the first step. Another thing we're picking up in your energy is that it's a, I want to give this a go, but I'm not sure I'm 100% committed. You don't have to be 100% committed to take the first step or two. We're just asking you to take the first step. You can then decide, did I like it? Did I not? So just because you commit to manifestation and seeing the beginning of it doesn't mean you have to commit to the very end. It's okay for you to adapt as you go and update the but the vibrational manifestation recipe as you go. Let's see what this is for you guys. Um, okay, in terms of what's going on on the human level, um, oh, there's a little bit of a fear here, guys, on the human level that's impacting your, your little soul lesson there. 
And that is, you don't want to be that like arrogant or that cocky person. You don't want to like, I'm going to do this and then like not do it, whether it be because you failed and couldn't do it, whether it be because you didn't research enough or whether it be because you're like, oh, wait, I don't like it. So it's like that. I'm not going to go tell a hundred people or 10 people or even two people that I want to do this thing because they don't want to have to like retract it and which makes sense. But guys, that just means take the first couple steps on your own without telling anyone. See how you like it. If you like it, then you can maybe share it with one person. Hey, I'm doing this new thing. I'm not sure I'm going to do it forever, but I wanted to like share it with someone, you know? So it's, you can commit to trying something, to exploring something, to seeing if you like it without committing to this is 100% my next profession or this is 100% the next business I'm starting. Okay, in terms of the recent past, the recent past you got the Empress card. So that shows that you're hitting a point where you're like, I do have to give this a try. I have to try this like it sometimes it's it's going to feel so good when I do it that there's like no way I, I can keep this to myself anymore. So you have like all the spiritual and emotional essence there that you're like, I need to like give it a go and a try. Um, and the re current moment though, you got the five of air, which is the, you just don't want to do something that you're going to regret guys. And what this comes from, and this is especially true for my clients who are older than 35 They've just, you know, the youthful optimism is that if we put our minds to it and our energy to it and just try our hardest, we can accomplish anything. Once you hit past 35, you realize, wait, wait, sometimes it just doesn't happen. And sometimes when you do get it, you look back and go, oh my God, look at all that cost me. Was it truly worth it? So there's just a little bit of a fear of like, I don't want to go gung ho all in and do this and then look back and, and feel that again, the, that crash, that what was this all for? Was it worth it? And you know, Olympian gold, gold medal, Olympian athletes, um, I don't know if I'm a study or I read this book so long ago, guys, but it was saying that most of the time when they're winning and they should be, oh, I won, they're feeling this crash of like, wait, it's over? It's over? Like... Was it worth it? Was it worth the absolute sacrifice of, of my life? Was it, there, it's like that kind of a moment. So it's just recognizing that I know I want this thing, whatever it is for you. And I know I also want, so I know I want to restart my business and have it be highly lucrative, lucrative again. And I want time to like love my family. And I want time to like meet a man and start a family. And I still want time to do my hobbies because then the universe can guide you on that path where you get your lucrative business and the time to do X, Y, Z. Um, okay. In the future. Okay. Going into the future, you got the three of earth, which recognize, which is like the team kind of player card. So it's, this can end, indicate that maybe your inspired action will be to go help someone else, maybe give them a business model, maybe just like help them clean their yard. Um, it, it's really, oh, they want to talk to you again. It's really about tapping into your, tapping into your spiritual guidance from your own inner being. Because sometimes you'll be guided to go help someone with their yard. Like, oh, hey, you need to cut a tree down? Like, I got some time this weekend if you could use an extra set of hands. And then maybe there the person might go, you know what? Like, my son's graduated and moved out. He has no interest in it anymore. But I have his motorcycle there. You want to compete in the motorcycle race? Like, take it. It might be something like that. It might also be uh, willing to, if someone wants to come in and go, you know, I can understand why you feel that way. Um, what if I came and supported you? I could financially support you. I can come over and help you cut your tree. So it's your inspired action is either going to be go help someone with something that you don't think will help you hit your goal. You'll get an epiphany, a gift of money, uh, a physical, tangible gift that will help get you there. Or it will be someone will come in and be like, hey, I don't know why, but I feel inspired to give you this. Receive it. Recognize that this thing that you're going towards can feel like a team effort. That's our wish for you. Um, okay. In terms of your personal power this month, well, your personal power is to recognize that all of your desires are valid and that one doesn't negate the other. One doesn't mean you can't have the other. 
it's now recognizing that when you were younger, you were so hyper focused on one thing. And typically that happens because, you know, I'll just use the example of guys. They're like, nope, I just need to get this success, this business. Cause then once I have that, then I'll have all the girls chasing me. Right? So what happens if you get it? You recognize like, oh crap, I don't have the social skills now to build a relationship. Or if you don't get it, you're like, crap, what was that all for? I didn't even have a single date the last like four or five years. So this is where your personal power is to go. I know I would like to achieve and accomplish X. And I would also still like to be able to enjoy. That is your step one ask, your affirmation. I want this and I want to be able to enjoy this. I want, to, I want to be in a relationship, and I still would like to feel like I have some freedom. Um, I can give you a personal example there, guys. Um, I was chatting with a guy who, he's on a different sleep schedule than me entirely. Um, he has to wake up at like 2 a.m. And I just thought to myself, like, wow, that could actually work out for me because we could hang out a lot, and I also need a certain amount of alone time. So you go to bed, and then I could have my alone time and do my own thing. Um, and maybe he needs alone time too. He'll get his in the morning. So you can have the relationship and the freedom. As long as you do your personal power, which is I want this and I want to be able to enjoy X, Y, Z as well. Universe guide that to me. You got to be open to the how. Um, okay. This is your hopes and fears. Oh, this is interesting. Your hopes and fears is the sun card. So it's like a hope and a fear card for you. Both is true for you. There's the fear of will my will I ever be happy on a soul level lesson again? Will I ever feel that that enthusiasm, that eagerness, that excited movement forward in life again? And but it's also the it's also the growing bubble within you that like you have to do. I have to do this. I have to get this out there. Um, so it kind of is both for you right now. Um, in terms of your outcomes for the month. Wow, this card's throwing me for a loop because it's like almost feels like it's contradicting every other card and message up until this month. Spirit, help here. What do they need to hear, see, feel, and know from this card from Seven of Air coming out as the outcome? What you need to hear is that you will be successful. You may not get it in the time that you want. Someone who is building a million dollar business and they're solely focused on that, they're probably going to be able to do it a lot quicker than someone who's, I want to be able to build a million dollar business and I want to be able to date the woman of my dreams, the woman I'm going to make a family with. It will take more time. Can you remain satisfied in the unfoldment of the journey, even though the choice that you're making right now is, is not the fastest way there? The thing about you guys, it's always, I want the fastest way there. I want to be first. I just want to get there. I want to be the king of the hill. I want to be successful. So there's the guy who's going to sprint and carry, you know, the heavy 50 pound load up to the hill and be like, I made it and then be up there. And he is the king of the hill. He won. He got there first. Can you be okay that you're at a different stage of your life and now you're, hey, you know what? It took us two days to get there, but I have my wife here and now that I'm up here, sure, he's king of the hill. He got the best seat, but my wife and I, we got a good view. We're enjoying dinner together, together up here. I would rather be up here holding hands and cuddling, enjoying this with someone than up here by myself. Can you be content that you are a new person with new needs, wants, and desires and the old thing that used to satisfy you are no longer going to satisfy you. It's about embracing the path that you're choosing. I do want this and I also want this. So it's recognizing that you're now focusing on more than one thing and it's embracing the new way that journey is going to unfold for you. That is our wish for you to hear. Um, all right, Aries, that was a pretty good reading for you. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Let me know what's going on. It's way more fun for me if you guys are interactive. Um, and don't forget, I go live every Tuesday, 11 a.m. Eastern time for free. If you would like a paid personal reading, the link for that, the link for all of that is in the description below. I look forward to connecting however it is that you choose to. Bye.